Get our uh, deep little in. We're going to be uh, doing a spark thread fin pattern. We're basically going to kind of go, let me see if you can see this one. We're going to kind of try to replicate a lot of the colors in that one. Today, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to try something a little bit different uh, with this pattern. That is, I'm going to start with a sealer silver base, then cover it with a metallic white because, again, this is going to fall within our spark shad line. I've got... Uh, uh, my new brush that we'll be doing a review on after I play with it a little bit longer. Uh, the Mr. Hobby Procon 290, but we got loaded up with a silver sealer. I might add that this silver sealer is something I typically use when I'm doing candies. Uh, really makes those candies pop out. Uh, now, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put down a good base coat here. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover because we lost some um, we lost some audio somehow. But uh, anyway, the reason we're gonna do a silver sealer on this particular bait is because I'm wanting to see when I cover it with that metallic white. Uh, of whether or not that'll kind of uh, uh, kind of enrich that white even though it's metallic and and plus at the same time kind of darken it a little bit if that makes sense I don't uh, kind of a darker uh, base behind that metallic white so that's what we're shooting for here uh, and I think it'll allow our our pearls to really stand out when we start applying them So next up, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to come over the top of the uh, Createx Silver Sealer with a metallic white. Again, this is a Createx paint. Um, really, really lays down. It's a brilliant white. Uh, again, I'm hopeful that this Silver Sealer will just really, really uh, give this uh, shad uh, a very lifelike uh, look as most of our shad are uh, on those sides have a uh, uh, very reflective scent. So here I go. We're gonna we're gonna lay down white. It's not a brilliant white, but I really like the finish. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of the white over the top uh, because we're going to be putting some darker colors up there as we go. So we're going to be putting our eyes right in this area. So Before we start painting here, I'm going to give you a rundown of kind of what we're going to do. Starting at the top on those shoulders, we're going to put all of these are going to be very fine or very thin layers of colors. Uh, we are going to do a, a little bit of a raw sienna, uh, kind of an off yellow color, uh, just below that, kind of from the eye there to uh, the full length to the tail. In that shoulder region, we're going to be doing a blue green. Uh, then just below that, again, in a very thin stripe, we're going to put some variation of yellow below that. Uh, then. Uh, the entire belly region uh, is going to be a uh, candy magenta, but we're going to really thin that out um, to where it just, uh, it's kind of like going to be just almost like a ghost color. Uh, but uh, those are going to give us some bases so that we can build upon our scaling after that. So here we go. 
first color we're going to lay down is going to be the uh, yellow in this sequence uh, <clears throat> and again just a uh, real fine line. I'm going to basically establish the midline of this bait uh, as we uh, as we paint right here, and then we'll we'll move right on up into the blue after this. Now I want to be a little bit spotty down in here. get our blue going here uh, be our next color just above the uh, uh, that's that very thin line of, of yellow um, and we'll do that on, on both sides um, looks like I'm getting a little bit thick to be honest with you right there I'd like for that to be a little bit thinner but that's okay that's going to kind of match that picture so we'll go ahead and dock at the top of that as well so Okay, we've loaded up our candy magenta and we have really thinned that down and we're going to uh, work on this belly region of, of our spark shad uh, and most of your uh, live thread fin that I've seen have that somewhat metallic sides like this one's looking with that little hint of some type of purple or magenta uh, as a uh, reflective color so uh, we're going to we're going to finish that up and we'll move on uh, to the next uh, color. Okay, so next up here we are, we're going to apply some scale uh, to kind of, uh, kind of hide some of these colors, these underlying colors that we put on. We're going to be going with a uh, silver. It's not going to be extremely dark, but it is going to, give us uh, the the scale look that we need uh, again um, some of these colors uh, as i can tell right now look a little dark uh, so there's going to be a lot of that color show through but we're going to build layers so this is the first layer of scales uh, again this is going to be a pearl silver and we're going to be adding lots of layers onto the top of that so uh, I do want to stay out of the uh, gill region, so I'm kind of angling my brush and spraying from the head or actually from behind where the gills would be uh, toward the back here. So. Okay. Okay, man, we've got a good look. Uh, we're starting to hide some of those colors. We do need to hit the top here, so uh, kind of apply some more scale. I didn't really get around that top edge, so let me adjust the camera here just a little bit, and we'll come back over the, the edge of that shoulder, a little bit of the back with uh, some more of this silver scaling uh, to kind of break up some of that blue at the top. And a little bit more. I feel where this blue's at. Okay, so I don't know if the camera's going to pick all that up, but you can kind of see we've got a little bit of our magenta blue and our yellow. Next up, we got a black magenta. First, I'm going to add a little bit of scale texture up here at the top. A 
but we're gonna make that look very irregular as we get up on the top of it. spraying right here is a uh, Creotex Hot Rod Sparkle Essent uh, or Sparkle Spectrum. Uh, we're going to give the entire bait a real good dusting. Um, and again, it's fairly, it's a transparent, just got like multiple layers of uh, pearls. Again, this is uh, Creotex probably most coarse pearlistic color that you can get so this is going to add a lot of flash It'd be second or I guess no this would be the third layer of pearls um, that we can uh, lay down on this live spark shad so okay over uh, the black uh, back we're going to add a color shift paint uh, this is the Tasami that we used in a previous video here a few weeks back. It's kind of a, a blue to green uh, color shift. Ought to add a lot of uh, real lifelike textures to this particular live thread fin spark shad. So, uh, Picking that up, we've got a real dark blue green color shift just on the black on the very spine of the back. I really don't want to get it down too much into this and definitely don't want to touch the sides, although it might give it a real good look. Let's let's just give it a little bit and see. That's just a little bit of that tasami that we used in another pattern a few weeks back. All right, we're gonna come right through the midsection with some candy, eye candy, ghost blue. lower tail section. Now 
really don't want to kill out my uh, magenta undercoat that I've got. So again, we're just staying midsection to the back half. cut stencil and put a gill on this and add a little bit of uh, uh, colors inside that gill as well so we're just going to start right here with side one again this is just a hand cut stencil that I've uh, cut out and used on multiple different baits so <clears throat> what I'm doing right here is we're just we're just mainly spraying on the plastic itself uh, it's just an over overhead projector sheet that I cut out and I'm uh, going to put down a little thin black line there, as you can see here. Uh, we'll come back and, and do one on the uh, inside as well. Uh, looks like I got this one just a little bit low, but um, I'll position this one a little bit higher. That's what you always got to look out for. Make sure you got your stuff positioned how you want it. Next thing we're going to do to add some realism to this is I'm laying the stencil back on top of uh, that and just offsetting a little bit and spraying some pearl white inside that to kind of somewhat cover up some of the black overspray uh, plus make it just appear that it's uh, kind of three dimensional off of the uh, be a different little bit different color than uh, the side of the bait there just behind the gill so What we have left is we're going to add just a little bit of texture onto those gills. Next thing to add to this uh, particular pattern is we're going to cover up uh, the outline of that gill and I'm going to spray some white. Most of your shad, uh, especially thread fin shad, have a uh, uh, black shad dot that's uh, surrounded by white. So we're going to lay down that stencil sheet a little white and then we'll insert our uh, shad dot and this pattern is starting to really come around. Alright, we need to add eyes to it, and I think that's about as lifelike of an old thread fin shad as I've put together. Could have done a little bit better, I think, with the uh, details around the gills, but all in all, nice little pattern. Gonna find us some cool little eyes. Uh, 
I think just a silver eye is going to be really good with this one. So, live thread fin, spark shad. This thing's got a lot of sparkalescent in it. And thus being in the lineup for the spark shad. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Leave comments below. We started it with Audubon Sealer. We covered that with Metallic White. We had a little raw Sienna, Sienna uh, Stripe, which you can, you can see right here. Then we put a blue-green uh, stripe up at the top of the shoulders. Then we covered the belly with a candy magenta other colors that went in on the back color one i mixed up the tasami color shift blue to green hot rod sparkle was the second layer of pearls or third layer of pearls that went into this a little bit of pearl white around the gills and just on the very t tip of the uh, belly and black magenta for all of our uh, scale and our back colors and to outline our gill. Hope you guys enjoyed this pattern, taking the time to, to stop in and view the channel. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, like and share, hit the notification bell for all our future videos coming out. Until next week, Green Country Baits, signing out. Thank you.